Hello, my name is Martin Courtney. You guys uh, asked me to talk about a song that got me inspired to play guitar or inspired me to get into guitar or something like that. Um, I mean, so yeah, so I, I was never a guitar player uh, growing up. I, I played in a lot of bands in middle school and high school with, with my friends. Uh, we were like, I was super into music, but um, I was always a, a bass guitar player. My first instrument was upright bass. Um, and then I, I learned how to, you know, translate that to the <laughs> horizontal version um, and, and, you know, and, and learned electric bass. And I was a huge fan of, you know, rock music. And, and um, so I, I always loved playing music. I mean, if, if we're talking about like the first, my first love, it was probably like a, a band like Weezer. Like I, me and my friends were really into the Blue Album when it first came out in like the early 90s. And I was in probably third grade. Um, I love that record. I mean, I still do. Um, so that might be what inspired me to like, you know, get into being a musician at all was like literally that kind of gatefold uh, picture in the CD of like all their gear in, the, in their garage. Um, that was always very exciting to me. But uh, but yeah, I was always a bass player and um, I didn't know how to play guitar until I was probably, you know, I started started write, I started wanting to write songs and um, I wrote, I actually wrote a few songs on the bass guitar, um, but that's, you know, not the most convenient way to write music. And, and I could feel the limitations of it. I was trying to like play chords on the bass. And I was like, I think I really need to, to finally figure out how to, how to play the guitar. So yeah, at the time <clears throat> that I was deciding to learn how to play guitar, uh, one of my favorite uh, artists, I was like a huge fan of Elliot Smith. Um, and so I decided, uh, you know, I'll just look up tabs for his songs and learn how to play them. And that'll be how I learned how to play guitar. Um, but you know, <laughs> most of his songs are pretty hard to play. Um, and you know, I mean, he's a great, he's a great player. So it's, it's been, it's, um, the kind of thing that, uh, to this day, I probably still can't play most of his songs, but but yeah, just trying to think of a song to do for this video. Um, one of the first songs that I did ever learn how to play was uh, Condor Ave by Elliot Smith. Um, so that goes like this. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's definitely a, a hard chord progression. Um, there's a lot going on there and it took me a lot of, like, took me months to learn it, um, to be honest. But, uh, it, it also pr kind of provided this, I mean, it, his songs in general kind of provided this foundation for, um, for my songwriting. Um, I mean, like he uses a lot of kind of you know, like major seventh chords, um, which I also use a ton of in my songwriting. Um, and uh, he uses a lot of kind of like, like Beatles-y, uh, you know, seventh chords and stuff. Um, so it's all stuff that, that had a big influence on me. Um, and it's funny because at the time, like I, I never, I didn't grow up listening to the Beatles. I, I kind of, also got into them around that same time when I was like 19 or something like uh, and partially probably because I was such a big Elliott Smith fan and, and I was listening to, to their music you know when I finally sat down and listened to like the White Album for the first time or you know I, I, I was like wow this music is incredible uh, <laughs> you know first of all but also like oh like I you know I, it's like when you finally get all the references you know in 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 all that other music that I grew up loving, like Built to Spill and Elliot Smith and, you know, all that kind of hyper melodic indie rock stuff that is just obviously so indebted to the Beatles. So that was a cool thing to figure out. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the other thing about this progression is like, just all the like, all the kind of, um, the movement that happens in the chords, like all the little 
hammer-ons and pull-offs and things like that, that like, like I really try to do that a lot in my um, songs as well. Like I, I like to have, you know, a lot of melodies kind of built into the chord progressions um, so that like, you know, I, I tend to, to like to write for, you know, I like to write for two guitars. So, but, uh, but it's fun if both guitars are doing something melodic and the bass is doing something melodic and then, you know, the keys are doing something melodic and then there's vocals on top of that and maybe there's different layers of melody happening with the vocals and like to me like I don't think you can have too much melody um at least that's that's kind of how I've you know that's the maximal approach I guess to, to melody which is which is also something that I mean you can hear it in Elliot Smith's early music but obviously as he kind of started making his later, you know, big budget uh, major label records, like it's just like the arrangements are like stunning. And uh, and that, that I think is his, his like, his gift is like, you, you could hear it in the early, you know, his early music that was so simple and, you know, just guitar and vocals. And it's like, it's still so full of melody and you can just hear how he like, you know, his evolution, um, as like, you know, as a, as a melodicist or as somebody who, who, you know, if given the opportunity, which he, which he thankfully was later in his career, he was able to kind of show his, um, what he was capable of, uh, which is, which is cool. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for asking me to do this and, uh, hope you have a good day.